Hi friends, welcome to my channel and welcome to yet another interesting video. There's this question that has been rattling my YouTube subscribers for quite some time. And the question is, which subject should they choose to give their UGC net exam in? I've already answered this question in the comment section of a lot of YouTube videos that I've made and I've clarified this in some of my other videos as well, but I've never made any dedicated video on this topic. So I felt that since a lot of students are having trouble relating to this topic, let me make a separate video to end all your doubts for once and for all. If you have any other questions or queries, feel free to put that in the comment section as well. And I'll be happy to make a video on that topic as well. Also, at the same time, if you are new to this channel, then please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that every Sunday, as soon as I upload a new video, you're the first one to know about it. We're proud to share that we are right now India's largest YouTube channel in the field of UGC net exam preparation. In today's video, we are also going to discuss the eligibility criteria, age limit and validity and many more such questions related to UGC net. So please make sure that you watch this video till the end. Thus, without any further ado, let's jump into the topic and let us look at the question of the hour. That is, in which subject shall one give their UGC net exam in? First, let's discuss which subjects we cannot give our UGC net exam in. Because we should know what we cannot do, only then we will know what we can do. So, some people say that if you have completed your post-graduation, then you can give UGC net exam in any subject, irrespective whether that was a subject in your post-graduation or not. Still confused? Wait a minute, I'll clarify. Let me clarify this by giving you an example. Suppose I have done my post-graduation in, let's say, history. Now, is it possible to give my UGC net exam in political science? If I've done my post-graduation in history, can I give my UGC net exam in political science? No, it is not possible. And if someone in your circle is saying you the same, please try to stay away and block these people because they are just trying to manipulate you. Okay, so by giving you this example, I just meant to tell you that this is not the right approach. If you have done your post-graduation in, let's say, subject A, you cannot give UGC net in subject B. Please note that we cannot give the exam in any subject we want. Hamare khud ki ghar ki kheti nahi hai. Now the question is, can we give the exam in the subject in which we have done our bachelor's? For example, uh, suppose I had three subjects in my bachelor's and they were psychology, sociology and English. Does that mean I can appear for UGC net exam in any of these subjects? No, because bachelor's subjects don't hold any importance when it comes to choosing the subject in which you give your UGC net. So in which subject can we give UGC net? Aap shayad parishan hoke yahi pooch rahe hoonge ki aakhir ab kis subject mein de? And the answer is the subject in which you have done your masters. You can apply for your exam only and only in the subject that you are pursuing or have completed your masters in. Friends, I will give you two examples and you are going to tell me which subject the person can give you GC net exam in. I'm going to take examples from one of my favorite movies, DDLJ. Yeah. Let's take Raj and Simran as characters. Now, Raj, your favorite character, has completed his bachelor's in history, political science and economics. And he has done his master's in geography. Now, answer the first question. In which subject can Raj appear for the UGC net exam? What are you going to do is pause this video for a moment. Write your answer in the comments below. And after writing the answer, resume the video. Ki answer? Ab batati hu main what is the right answer? The right answer is geography. Raj cannot give UGC net exam in Paul Science. Neither economics, in spite of the fact that he has studied these subjects in bachelor's. The only subject he can choose to do his UGC net in is geography because that is the subject he chose in his master's. Now let's come to Simran. Simran did BCom and after her graduation, she completed her master's in economics. Usko laga MCOM nahi karna, meko economics mein MA karna. Now tell me in which subject can she give her UGC net exam? Comment your answers down below and if you have done that, 
let me tell you the correct answer it is economics this means she cannot give ugc net commerce even if she chose commerce in her graduation what we understand from this is that even if one decides to switch streams he or she can pursue their ugc net exam in the stream in which they have completed their masters but do you know that there are some exceptions as well before i talk about that here is something i want to share if you are preparing for ugc net paper 1 paper 2 ma entrance phd entrance pgt tgt upsc gate set or any other competitive exam related to english literature i have some amazing news for you we offer detailed video course for all these exams and now recently we also started providing video course for commerce paper 2 commerce and ugc net paper 2 management In all our online courses we provide you with topic wise video lessons with rich animations covering all topics in a step by step manner which works even when you've not done any previous preparation. We also provide you with high quality PDFs and revision notes that cover syllabus wise topics comprehensively and ensure you qualify your dream exam in just one attempt. Along with video lectures and PDF we also offer test series that consists of more than 3000 unit wise questions. that comes with detailed explanation plus after every test you get a detailed performance report also and your ranking in the all india leaderboard which will help you to spot your weak and strong areas we cover all these important topics and works in our online course the detailed list of all the topics that are covered in our online course is available totally free of cost on our website arpitakarva.com even if you are preparing for these exams on your own We would highly recommend you to visit our website and download this detailed list of writers' topics. Check out solved past year papers of all the competitive exams. The link of our website and all our courses are given somewhere, and that is in the description box. You can also check out the course details from our website and even watch free demo lectures and attempt free demo mock tests before you decide to enroll in our course. For more information related to the courses we offer feel free to shoot your queries on the WhatsApp number displayed on the screen and me and my team will be more than happy to assist you. Now let's discuss the exceptions. Some of my very bright students say that they have double masters. Do bar masters kiya. For example, if there's a student who has that masters in history and then again he was like aur padhna hai mujhe to main masters karta pol science mein bhi. Which subject will he choose to get his UGC net in? The answer is if someone is having dual masters then he can give UGC net exam in both the subject of his masters and choose any options from the two dono mein bhi kar sakta hai aur chahe to inme se kisi ek mein bhi kar sakta hai for example if someone has done dual masters in english and economics he can give UGC net in both english and economics or can give it in any one of them Another big question that is raised by many of my commerce and management students is that they have done MCOM. Now, under which subject shall they give their exam? Because in case of MA, a person has to choose a subject in which they want to do MA, and therefore the same subject they choose in UGC net. MA English, Pol Science, Geography, अलग अलग होता है उन्हीं वही सारे subjects आपकी UGC net की list में भी है. But in case of MCOM, they don't have to choose any subject. मैंने MCOM किया है. मुझे सब्जेक्ट चूज ही नहीं करना देन इन विच सब्जेक्ट विल आई गिव माई यू जी सी नेट एंड द आंसर इज कॉमर्स एनी पर्सन हुज डन एम कॉम और इज डूइंग एम कॉम कैन गिव यू जी सी नेट ओनली इन कॉमर्स सब्जेक्ट कॉमर्स के स्टूडेंट्स तो फिर भी ठीक है मैनेजमेंट वाले स्टूडेंट्स जिन्होंने एम बी ए किया है वो तो सबसे ज्यादा परेशान होता है इस सवाल से कि आखिर कौन सा सब्जेक्ट चूज करना है यू जी सी नेट में क्योंकि इन एम बी ए देर आर डिफरेंट स्पेशलाइजेशन जैसे एम बी ए इन फाइनेंस एम बी ए इन मार्केटिंग इन एच आर सो इन एम बी ए स्टूडेंट इज ऑलवेज कंफ्यूज लेट मी क्लियर दिस कन्फ्यूजन इफ यू हैव डन एम बी ए एंड हैव ऑप्टेड फॉर एनी स्पेशलाइजेशन एक्सेप्ट एच आर देन यू हैव टू गिव यू जी सी नेट एट मैनेजमेंट बी इट एम बी ए इन फाइनेंस मार्केटिंग अकाउंटेंसी वन हैज टू अपियर फॉर यू जी सी नेट मैनेजमेंट नाउ गाइज वी हैव डिस्कस ऑल द अदर स्ट्रीम्स एक्सेप्ट HR The question arises that which subject will a student of MBA with HR specialization choose in UGC NET The answer is UGC NET in Human Resource Management HRM HR is the only subject for which UGC NET conducts a separate exam Other than that all the other specializations are combined under the name of UGC NET management be it sales marketing or any other specialization So I hope 
in this video i have solved this very big confusion that you had in your little head and that is how will i choose subject for ugc net friends in the beginning only i told you that i will answer your questions related to minimum eligibility validity of ugc net certificate so now i'm going to look at that let's start with eligibility many people are having this doubt that when are they eligible to appear in ugc net exam let me tell you friends if you are pursuing or have completed your masters you can give the exam for those who have completed their masters the minimum marks required in the masters is 55% without rounding off this means that even if you've scored 54.98% you will not be able to appear for ugc net exam this percentage rate is for general category students for st sc pwd a slightly relaxed rate that is 50% in masters is applicable now some people say that they are pursuing their masters can they sit for ugc net exam such people can appear for the exam and even clear ugc net exam in the first year of their masters but let me tell you friends if your aggregate marks are less than 55% after completing your masters your ugc net certificate will stand invalid another question is when can one appear for the exam the answer is one can appear any time of for this exam you can appear at the age of 50 you can even appear at the age of 98 but the only criteria is that your ugc net certificate will be valid only if you complete your masters within 2 years of receiving your ugc net certificate so ideally you should sit for this exam in the first year of your masters usse pehle baith ke fayda nahi hai bachelors ke first year mein clear bhi kar diya to 2 saal ke andar masters ki degree kahan se laoge so right after clearing your bachelors you can start preparing for ugc net and first year of your masters mein de do so that within 2 years you finish your masters and you get the certificate as well Another question is about the validity of the certificate. Let me tell you friends that the certificate is valid for lifetime. You can apply for the post of lecturer any time after obtaining the certificate. But the GRF certificate is only valid for a period of 3 years after obtaining it. That means you will lose all the scholarship and stipend if you apply for a PhD after 3 years of getting the GRF certificate. Though you can still apply for PhD after 3 years of GRF, but you will not get the stipend from the government. ठीक है पी एच डी कभी भी करो लेकिन जे आर एफ के साथ में जो स्टाइपेंड है वो सिर्फ तब मिलेगा अगर आपने जे आर एफ कम्प्लीट करने के बाद विद इन थ्री ईयर्स में पी एच डी के लिए अप्लाई कर लिया एंड लास्टली पीपल आर कन्फ्यूज अबाउट द एज लिमिट ऑफ द कैंडिडेट इन केस ऑफ यू जी सी नेट देर इज नो एज लिमिट एनी बडी कैन अप्लाई फॉर यू जी सी नेट इवन अ सेवेंटी ईयर ओल्ड कैंडिडेट हु इज retired and is ideally sitting in his house can also appear for this exam but for grf the age limit is 30 years for general male candidates and 35 years for general females and for both male and females of st sc pwd obc now i'm quite eager to know ki itne bhashan ke baad how did you feel about this video did you like it or did you not like it did you find it helpful please share your views in the comments below Also, if you have any questions, any doubts, or if you want me to make a video on any other topic, then feel free to put that in the comment section as well. If you found this video helpful, तो एक काम करिए, give it a big fan thumbs up, and also share it with other fellow aspirants who are struggling with the same kind of questions and who keep asking you कि मैं कब बैठूँ नेट के लिए, मैं कौन सी ईयर में नेट की तैयारी करूँ, उन सब को इसका लिंक भेजिए और बोलिए कि आपका दिमाग खाना बंद करे. So with that note I would like to take your leave that's it from my side for this video lecture I'll meet you very very soon in the next video lecture till the time we meet next happy learning keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarwa.com